This is Minimax AI. They're ranked number two globally for video generation, and their new model just outperformed DeepSeek R1 while also being completely open source. Today, we're putting their boldest claims to the ultimate test. Let me show you exactly why tech Twitter is losing their minds right now. Look at these benchmark numbers. On AIME 2024, they're hitting 86% accuracy. That's actually beating some pretty well-established models that we're all familiar with. But here's where it gets really interesting. On Taobench, which tests how well AI can actually use tools and act like an agent, they're scoring 62.8%. That's not just competitive with Gemini 2.5 Pro, it's actually outperforming it. And the context length comparison? <laughs> Mimimax can handle 1 million tokens for input, which matches Gemini 2.5 Pro, but get this, their max output is 80,000 tokens. For comparison, Claude 4 maxes out at 32,000 output tokens. That's more than double. But here's the absolute kicker that made my jaw drop. This is completely open source. You can literally download it right now, run it on your own hardware, modify it however you want, that's something you definitely cannot say about Claude. <laughs> but you know what? Benchmarks are just numbers on a screen. Let's see what happens when we put this thing through real-world torture tests. All right, so I set up the ultimate AI deathmatch here. I gave both Minimax Agent and Google's Gemini the exact same challenge. Build a professional SaaS landing page from scratch. Same prompt, same requirements, same everything. Let's see who comes out on top. First up, Google's Gemini. I gave it a super detailed prompt asking for a modern SaaS landing page for SyncWave, a AI-powered team collaboration platform, specific color scheme, the whole nine yards. And honestly, it delivered something genuinely impressive. Clean navigation, proper branding, beautiful feature section, even got the pricing tiers exactly right. This could literally go live tomorrow. But now, let me show you what Minimax agent did with the exact same prompt. I'm pasting in the identical specifications, same requirements, same everything. This is going to give us the ultimate head-to-head -head comparison. And what's fascinating is watching it work. Minimax Agent is setting up what looks like a full React project structure from scratch. It's creating package.json, tailwind config, components folder. This thing is thinking like a real developer. It's being super methodical about the whole process too. Delegating to specialized agents, setting up the complete development environment, and boom, look at his result. We've got that stunning gradient background in the exact navy and electric blue scheme I specified. The typography is crisp and modern. And check out this dashboard mock-up on the right side here. That's such a smart touch that adds real visual context. But here's what really impressed me. We've got this get started in three simple steps section that wasn't even in my original prompt. That's genuinely smart UX design right there. It's thinking about the actual user journey and making the onboarding process crystal clear. Honestly, I think Minimax Agent might have actually outdone Google Gemini here. The design feels more modern, more polished, more, more professional. This looks like something a high-end design agency would charge thousands of dollars to deliver. But wait, if you think that agent was impressive, you haven't seen anything yet. Their video model is about to absolutely blow your mind. I'm looking at their gallery right now, and the quality here is seriously next level stuff. We've got this epic fantasy sequence with particle effects that would make Hollywood jealous. The lighting, the atmosphere, the sheer cinematic quality. This looks like something straight out of a $100 million blockbuster. <laughs> and this animated piece... With the character animation, it's so buttery smooth. Look at those incredibly detailed facial expressions, the way the light bounces off every surface. That warm golden glow is absolutely gorgeous. This is AI generated? Come on, are you kidding me right now? But the real test. I'm going to give Hailua the most challenging prompt I can think of. We're talking African Serengeti, cinematic quality, specific wildlife behavior, heat distortion effects, golden hour lighting, the works. Oh my God. I am absolutely completely blown away. Look at this masterpiece. We're looking at what can only be described as National Geographic quality wildlife documentary footage. The opening shot shows this sweeping, breathtaking Serengeti landscape. The level of detail is just extraordinary. Those iconic acacia trees perfectly silhouetted against golden hazy sky, the rolling grassland stretching endlessly into the distance. But the real star? This absolutely majestic lioness in the foreground. Just look at her. 
the facial features, the way her ears twitch ever so slightly, the completely natural positioning, the incredible detail in her fur texture, the way that gorgeous afternoon light create those perfect subtle shadows across her noble face. This is completely photorealistic. And can we talk about the atmosphere for just a second? That heat shimmer effect wavering in the distance, the way those acacia trees seem to dance slightly in the warm African air. Hailuit didn't just generate a simple video, it created an entire mood, an entire living ecosystem that feels completely authentic. This is a six second video that tells a complete compelling story. We start with that wide establishing shot, move through the peaceful grazing gazelles, and end with this intimate portrait of the lioness. That's genuinely sophisticated visual storytelling right there. Let's talk about what we just witnessed here. We're looking at a complete paradigm shift happening right before our eyes. Open source models are now matching, and in some cases beating, the best closed source models from the biggest tech companies in the world. Chinese AI companies are disrupting Western dominance in ways that seemed impossible just six months ago. But think about this for a second. Marketing agencies charge $50,000 for landing pages like what we saw Minimax agent create in minutes. Video production studios charge $100,000 for commercials with the quality we just generated for free. All of this just became obsolete overnight. And we're just at the beginning. If Minimax can do this now, imagine what they'll be capable of in six months. Imagine what happens when every other AI company realizes they need to match this level of capability just to stay competitive. The creative industries are facing massive disruption. But here's the thing. It's not necessarily bad news. It's democratization. It's putting professional quality content creation tools in the hands of anyone with an internet connection and a good idea. So what does this mean for you? How can you actually take advantage of what we just discovered? First, you can access Minimax tools right now. They're live, they're free for basic use, and they are incredibly powerful. The agent tool alone could replace entire workflows for web development, content creation, and data analysis. For the video generation, here's what I learned that works best. Be specific about lighting, camera angles, and mood. Don't just say, make a video of a cat. Say, golden hour lighting, shallow depth of field, tabby cat with green eyes, soft focus background. The more cinematic language you use, the better results you'll get. But here are the limitations you need to know about. Video generation is still limited to short clips. The agent sometimes makes assumptions about what you want, and processing times can be pretty long during peak hours. But honestly, what we're seeing here is just the tip of the iceberg. Within 12 months, I predict we'll see even more dramatic improvements. The question isn't whether AI will transform creative work, it's whether you'll be a part of that transformation or get left behind by it. The AI revolution isn't coming, everyone. It's here. And companies like Minimax Agent are proving that the future of AI isn't just about the biggest tech companies, it's about whoever can build the most capable tools and get them into people's hands. And if you want to see more AI discoveries like this, definitely hit that subscribe button because this space is moving fast. And I'll be covering all the biggest developments. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.